Okay, I'm gonna record. I'm, I'm gonna uh, make a, a brief a review of this this album by Raphael CD called "The Way I See It," which uh, which he came out with in 2008. Did this uh, this album which conceives uh which con- uh, which con- uh, has uh, eleven tracks plus the plus the bonus track featuring Jay Z. It's like uh, when uh, Ra- Raphael Sadiq uh, made this album, he was go- he was going for this this uh, night. The whole album sounds like uh sounds like something that was recorded in the 1960s, either through Philly Soul. Uh, the, I mean the sound, uh, the sound of Philadelphia or um, or Motown records. It, it, it's rife with that uh, with that Motown sound, that Motown vibe with the guitars, the the drums, um, the, the uh, like a uh, Raphael singing style. Like it's it's obvious that that's what he was trying to uh, he was trying to accomplish with that, especially with songs like a uh, hundred yard dash. Like I like I like that I like that guitar team to hundred yard dash and like uh and like the um. The the, cor- the chorus that, that that flows in unison like like it has that uh, that with that Motown sixty ish vibe feel, and like uh, I like songs like um hold up, uh, also with songs like uh keep on marching and Big Easy or Just One Kiss featuring Josh Stone like uh, when it comes to that song Josh Stone who was a white British singer uh f- a soul singer like uh. Bleh. Uh, does it sound okay? In my opinion, it would have sounded better if uh she uh, he had somebody like um Estelle or Jill Scott on that track, for for real. That that that's just my opinion, and like um and like he he basically he basically has that has that whole theme that sixties Motownish theme throughout this whole album, with, especially with songs like Love That Girl, even with songs like Love That Girl or Staying in Love, Oh Girl, like like and then this, and, and, and plus he has a song with a uh, with a uh, uh, Stevie Wonder called "Never Give You Up," but, but, but like Stevie Wonder, he he's playing the um he's playing a, the the harmonica on there. But like, if he if he didn't tell you that was uh Stevie Wonder, you just think that's some, another dude just playing harmonica. But like, and like well, and plus like uh he he uh, he uh, he puts uh he does for the bonus track, he does like "Oh Girl," but, but this time he, he is it's featuring Jay Z. I like Jay Z, but like this, this song sounds a whole lot bit. "Oh Girl" sounds a whole lot better without Jay Z. On, on that track, it, it should have just been like a, like a Raphael Sadiq, Raphael Sadiq, and a few, few, a uh, few singers here, a uh, soul singers here and there. This has that pure, that 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 pure uh, Campbell Soup Motown, Motown sixties uh, type of sound and a uh, type of vibe to it, and that that's what he was aiming for. This is an excellent album by Raphael Sadiq. In my opinion, it's his, it's his best, uh, it's his best album that he put out. Okay, from a scale to 1 to 10, I give it a 10. From a scale to 1 to 20, I give it a 20.